Hey everybody, welcome back. Thank you for watching. Today we have a little hand cannon test for you all, and we're gonna see how much damage we can possibly do to my wrist in one day, because I wanna compare my two most powerful handgun calibers and see which one will reign supreme. First up, we have the Smith & Wesson 500 Magnum, the undisputed heavyweight champion of the handgun world. I love and hate this thing, depending on which ammo we're shooting, versus the newest addition to the arsenal, the Desert Eagle 50 AE. This is the apocalypse version with the distressed white to black finish. No, that's not a bad spray paint job. That is how it comes. This thing is an absolute behemoth. And as far as I know, it is still the most powerful semi-auto handgun cartridge, or at least one of them. And of course, to test these hand cannons, what better target than a ballistic dummy lab human torso? Now, I wanna give a quick shout out to Ballistic Dummy Lab. If you saw the 100 yard pistol shot video, you might have noticed that torso was kind of moldy. And when I told them about it, they sent me a brand new one for free, no questions asked, which is pretty cool because if you don't know, these torsos are not cheap at all. So I don't even know what color the fluid is in this one. I think they have red, green, and blue. So. It'll be a fun surprise for all of us. And these are the two cartridges side by side. We have the 50 AE and the 500 Magnum. They are both 50 caliber bullets, but clearly the 500 Magnum is quite a bit longer. So the 50 AE with a 300 grain bullet is going 1500 feet per second and produces about 1800 foot pounds of energy. The 500 Magnum with a 300 grain bullet is going 2000 feet per second and produces 2900 foot pounds of energy. So. The 500 Magnum is definitely more powerful. All right, we're gonna shoot this torso at self-defense range since that's where handguns are typically used. And we're starting with the Desert Eagle. So in the last video we did on this beast, we did shoot a ballistic dummy head, but it was not with a hollow point. This is a hollow point. It's a 300 grainer and it is a flamethrower. We shot these heads with the 500 Magnum several times. Let's see what the 50 cal Desert Eagle does. All right, the 50 AE went in right there towards the middle of the forehead. Hopefully you can see that entrance hole. And on the slow-mo, I saw something pretty big kind of fly out the top. I'm not sure if that was the bullet or a piece of the head. Either way, you can see the crazy amount of damage that that 50 AE did. It split that skull into multiple pieces, big old cracks in there. It did contain it. The ballistic shell did not explode, but definitely did some damage. And then on the back, we have an exit hole right there and some bullet fragments. So at the very least, the Desert Eagle 50 cal would definitely cause a headache. Okay, I went ahead and rotated the ballistic dummy to the side of the head that isn't damaged because I wanna try and hit it with a 500 Magnum. Obviously this will not be an apples to apples comparison because the head is already heavily compromised, but I wanna see if we can finish it off. The bullet we're shooting is a 300 grain Hornady hollow point and it is a beast. Get ready for the recoil. Well, that one just ejected the brain, so that's cool. got my trusty gloves on because this is where it starts to get kind of messy. You can see the entrance hole from the 500 Magnum right there by the temple and it just ejected all of the contents of that head straight onto the ground. I imagine that probably would have been quite a bit more dramatic if we didn't shoot it with a 50 AE right before but over here I do see an exit hole, a pretty big exit hole on the other side of the head so it looks like it might have just passed all the way through. And then on the ground, we have the brisane, and it looks like that is where that 500 Magnum passed through. So it went in right there, obviously just blew that entire chunk out of it. 
and then look at the exit hall on the other side. Definitely quite a bit bigger than the entrance hall. All right, that took care of the head. Let's get on the torso. And back to the Desert Eagle. Unfortunately, this is the only hollow point we have in 50 AE, so that's what I'm using. But obviously that torso has two lungs. I wanna hit one with the 50 AE and one with the 500 Magnum, and that can kind of be our direct comparison. Starting with the Desert Eagle 50 cal. We'll go for that left lung and hopefully a bone fragment doesn't come back at me. Well, I didn't get any bone fragments coming back at me, but I did get a shell casing that blasted me right in the forehead. And I think that one actually broke skin. Desert Eagle 50 AE went in right there. Obviously it just shattered that rib. Looks like it completely removed it, to be honest. We also have another broken rib down here and a broken sternum. I assume just from the kinetic energy of that giant round, of course it punctured the lung and it did pass all the way through. Man, I hope you guys can see inside that torso. That wound cavity is massive. It also broke another rib on its way out and then exited out the back right there. Not bad for the Desert Eagle. Let's try the 500 Magnum. Now I wanna to try to keep this somewhat comparable. So for the 500 Magnum, we are gonna shoot a 350 grain Corbon hollow point. These are loaded extremely hot and they're very painful to shoot, so. This should be fun. Going for that right lung. <laughs> yeah, I think that one hit just a little bit harder. <laughs> Magnum went in right there and this is like the perfect comparison of these two rounds because they hit in pretty much the exact same spot on different lungs. So first of all you probably noticed that the 500 slumped this thing over several inches this way which means it compromised the structure pretty heavily. The 50 AE did not do that. It also broke and removed like four or five ribs whereas this one just broke the one rib that it went through. So Pretty obvious, the 500 Magnum hit a lot harder and did quite a bit more damage in the process. And if we go around to the back, you can see it did pass all the way through and that wound cavity is several times bigger than the 50 AE. It's probably three or four inches across at least, hopefully y'all can see in there. And again, it just destroyed the rib cage on the back and our bullet exited out right there. And I actually knew that that bullet passed all the way through before I even looked at the torso because I saw it hit the railroad ties and kind of bounce back towards me and I was able to recover it. And that thing is fully expanded, which is pretty sweet. So that's what a 500 Magnum hollow point looks like after it passes through a torso. Well, I know you guys would probably kill me if I didn't shoot a real wrist breaking 500 Magnum. So. That's what we're going to do. This is the 635 grain Grand Canyon hollow point, and it is a monster. The 700 grain T-Rex is technically a heavier bullet, but it's not a hollow point. And this is like the hollow point equivalent of the T-Rex. And in my opinion, it is every bit as powerful and will probably do more damage. So, Whew. unfortunately, both of the lungs are already hit and that pole kind of goes up into the intestines. So. I guess I'll just aim around the stomach. It's been a while since I've shot one of these. There's a reason for that. <laughs> when you shoot the three and 400 grainers, you just can't imagine a round that would have twice the recoil. Then you shoot the six and 700 grainers and they do. I think that one might have split him in half. There he goes.
Well, the Grand Canyon hollow point went in right there. You can see that giant entrance hole, and it also basically split him in half between the chest and the abdomen. So that's a first. Don't think I've ever seen that before. Um, obviously just destroyed the ballistics gel, and you can even see some of the internal damage in there. Definitely not pretty. If we flip him over, that is the exit hole. So it definitely went all the way through. I was hoping to show you guys some of the internal damage, but it fell off the stand. Either way, it went through the stomach, completely destroyed it, blew out the spine, and then exited out the back right there. All right, I got the torso propped up on the table. He'll probably fall over, but let's finish him off with a mag dump from the Desert Eagle. That first couple rounds felt way less powerful than the others. That was weird. Well, obviously the torso is just completely devastated after a full mag dump from the Desert Eagle. We put most of them towards center mass, which is good, but I noticed something very interesting. So hopefully you can see that hollow point right there in the side of the head. And the wound cavity looks like it's coming out the top of the lung, so I assume as he was falling over and I was putting rounds into it, one of them must have hit at an angle and shot up into the side of the head. Either that or it ricocheted off bone and shot up there. But either way, I have never seen that before. So when you hear people say, sometimes bullets just do weird things, that is exactly what they're talking about. And there it is, a fully expanded 50 AE. And that thing looks like it definitely went through some bone. <laughs> All right, guys, that's gonna do it for me today. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. Obviously, the 500 Magnum is definitely the more powerful of the two, and it also looks like it does actually do quite a bit more damage to the torso as well. That being said, I would not wanna get shot with the 50 Cal Desert Eagle either. They are both very, very powerful. So, hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, let me know down in the comments below. As always, hit the like button for me, guys. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.